Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Sleeping. I've arrived again at Nature Spectacular and it certainly is looking spectacular still. So if you remember and you've been following the channel, then I came here last year and stayed in the deer cabin. Well, this time I'm staying in a beautiful yurt. I've dubbed this event yurting. I believe you can use that as an adjective. One can yurt. If one is very unfortunate, that could be one's toilet. That doesn't look great, does it? Now from memory, I think the yurt was at the bottom. And if you need to look up any information on this stay, then I'll put all the links and anything like that in the description below. Feel free to ask any questions you like. This is what you're paying to see. Just look at that, that is Chew Valley Lake at its finest. Now there's lots of different types of accommodation that you can um, stay in here. This one here is Big Red. It's a big old truck that's traveled the world. And a lot of them do come with these amazing little outdoor hot tubs. Unfortunately, the yurt doesn't, but uh, a lot of them do. These are the trucks that you sort of drag along from the car to bring all your stuff. It's another outdoor dunny. Now from memory, this is the yurt. Look at the rabbit. Rabbits. Wow. More rabbits. Wow. Not a bad view at all. We'll get that going later. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is read the instructions that you get sent on how to access the yurt and you're going to need the code which gives you the key and then from there it's got a proper door and if we open this oh my god wow 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 this is absolutely gorgeous this is incredible fresh towels full table a little bit of electric over there look at this bath hola it's got everything you need no none of the outdoor dunny stuff this is beautiful now, Hunter Gatherer sleeping is nothing without Hunter Gatherer cooking. So I'm gonna get all my stuff down from the car now, get that fire lit, and then we're gonna have some burgers. Okay, now that the fire's on, things are in. Let's have a little look in here. Amazing. We've got some ice in there. And here, amazing. So this is from Meatbox in Bristol. Some beautiful black pudding, some sausages, some beautiful looking bacon burgers for tonight and a lamb leg awesome we're gonna cook that tomorrow right let's see how that fire's doing so that burger was really really nice you can order all the meat as well if you um if you want to get that sort of prepared for your stay and um like i showed you earlier it's just all in the fridge so i'm gonna sit down enjoy the fire now and uh wait to go to bed I've just by accident discovered something utterly phenomenal. All right, listen to this. How lush is that? Morning, everyone. Had a fantastic sleep. Have a little look at this. Just look at this view. What a morning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna get dressed and start breakfast in a minute. I was up pretty early. As you can imagine, when the sun comes up and it comes through the middle of that yurt, it was quite something listening to the birds this morning. Anyway, let's get breakfast on. So I'm sat here this morning, the fire on. I've got a pot of coffee, freshly ground, and the sausages are on. Um, I did forget the eggs, can you believe? Um, so it's gonna be a bit of a, a meat feast this morning, but um, no surprise there. The yurt itself is so beautiful. The thermostat, which I found 
um, at the end of the night um, you can just adjust the floor temperature and it's amazing how warm it actually gets I needed to turn it down um, basically to minimum really and it was just perfect at that point it's got hot water it's got run it's got running water hot water it's got everything that you need it's it's nicer than a lot of hotel rooms and the view is just amazing like and the sounds again not seen anyone yet I'll probably go for a walk in a bit the stay was absolutely amazing. I cannot tell you how much I rate this place. If you're anywhere near Bristol or you want to make a trip here, it is well worth it. The scenery is stunning, everything is immaculate and you will absolutely love it. Again, all the information is in the description below. Check that out. Remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you for the next sleepover.